So I really wanted to try out the new speaker, but I blew the amp right away. There's the uh, burn carpet where the amp was uh, bolted on the side of my box. Anyways, I have this home amplifier, my Carver. It's a TFM 45. Um, it puts out about 1500 watts. Um, this speaker is claiming a max. This is the model, the TSW126. It's saying it's 1300 watts max and it's RMS is 300. So I'm real curious. I wanted to try that. Um, so I'm going to run some test tones and, uh, I'm going to leave the volume down here. And when we get, um, I would say down in the subwoofer range, basically be below 80 hertz, I'll start cranking the input gain to this amplifier. I want to watch those meters and see. Um, right here is about 90, so there's about 100 per channel. So if the needles are there, I'm pushing 200 uh, watts. So let's see what it does. Uh, we're getting close actually dropping pretty slow let's see so if i tried now 200 hertz i not really want to put 200 hertz to that sub so let's wait yeah like i said straight up from here let's see uh it's hard to say 80 80 watts per channel and it's bridged so i'm bridging this amp okay here we go I think this enclosure size, about 40 to 35 hertz, sounds really good. You can see the uh, excursion of the speaker now kicking in. There we go. It tends to peak out. I, I, it's safe to say this is a. Uh, 300 watt speaker. I don't know about that 1300. So I was getting my uh, peak power at about 40 hertz. So I'm going to run a 40 hertz test tone and uh, adjust my gain to see what I can get as far as output in watts. Uh, this is left and right channel, but I'm bridged uh, without hitting the mechanical limits of the speaker. So I'm going to push it and try not to, I'm going to avoid clipping, uh, basically, and, and watch what I get on the needles. So let's uh, start that 40 hertz test tone. Three, two, one. Okay, let's see what we can get. At, a, at about 200 watts, is where I start hearing the mechanical limits of the driver. Yeah, so now that's also based on the uh, enclosure. Uh, looks like a little over a cubic foot of airspace. I didn't even check with what my uh, VAS was. So uh, keep in mind, all these tests vary with enclosure, power supply, but uh, I would say that's the equivalent of my older driver. And like I said, this is a $39 woofer, so pretty impressive.